start the recording please good evening everyone uh, today, my name is nikki and i think most of you know me uh, today my bible study is entitled what is faith faith believing in god is not about a blind faith it's about faith based on facts jesus existed and there is an overwhelming evidence that he is alive it is not just the bible that talks about jesus jewish and roman historians said there were there was a, at that time jesus a wise man if indeed we should call him a man another historian reported Christ suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hand of Pontius Pilate. Pilate, and after Jesus was raised from the dead, five hundred and fifty people saw Jesus on eleven different occasions over a six-week period. So, Roland, what do you think faith is? uh i think uh, many times uh, when we look at faith everyone says oh you know it's just uh, it's just you're just simply following something you don't know but uh, like you said uh what you said was uh, i like what you said you said that you don't have a blind faith you know you you believe in something because of evidence and here you see how jesus was uh, they were saying that he is a very wise man and they also questioned that if he was a man also so i think uh, faith is uh, uh, i mean as the bible says uh, it's the evidence of things we have not seen there are some things we have not seen so that is faith you know i mean we cannot see some things but we know it exists yeah, so i think yeah. something like that so i will explain what faith is according to the bible in the next slide so let's continue reading what is faith faith is trusting in god it is the confidence in him has well has well has well as we know a friend it grows out of a close relationship with him in which you will know that he cares for you and only desires your good the more you know him the more you will trust him so what is faith again faith is taking the things that god has said and daring to believe them question number 1 What is faith? Adventer, can you read the Bible verse which is on the screen for me? Hebrews eleven one says, "Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see." So, now I'll just give a brief explanation on this word. Now, faith is confidence. So we have to be confident in what we believe. and what we hope for an assurance and uh, faith without seeing is very important now again faith is trust or belief faith is based on the substance or evidence of our belief so faith it should totally be on the upon the bible question number 2 what kind of relationship is jesus seeking with us Lara can you read the bible verse on the screen for me Okay Lara. Mark chapter 11 verses 22 to 23 Have faith in God Jesus answered Truly I tell you if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they would say will happen it will be done for them So What is the relationship that Jesus is seeking with us? Let's hear it. Jesus knocks on our heart. He's knocking every single day, seeking out for us to seek the loving heavenly Father. He knocks and seeks for us to seek that loving heavenly Father. Question number three: Is it possible to please God without faith? Adventa, can you read the Bible verse for me? Hebrews eleven six, and without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. 
Thank you. So, uh, do we have to please God without faith? Let's see more about the topic. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is an essential ingredient to build a relationship with the creator God. Question number four. What has God given everyone? What has God given you? Lara, can you read the Bible verse for me? Okay. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. Thank you. So what has God given everyone? It is grace. For by grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. So don't be proud, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith of God that has distributed to each of you. Even a little faith links us with God's marvelous working power. The Bible says that you can increase your faith by understanding the Bible. So now the question is, how do we have faith and increase our faith? Uh, Adventa, can you read the Bible verse for me? Romans 10, 17 says, Consequently, faith comes from, the, from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word about Christ. So what exactly increases our faith? Reading the examples of people with faith in the Bible increases our faith. Understanding God's promises in the Bible also increases our faith. Remember, our faith does not rely on our feelings, which can change, but on the power of Jesus, who is reliable and never changes. So now we talked about promises over here. So what are the promises that Jesus makes us? Let's see of the promises. Lara, can you read the Bible verse for me? Lara? Revelation, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Thank you. So whenever Jesus is on our hearts knocking, if anyone hears his voice, he and opens the door and lets him in, he will come and dine with them. Uh, Adventa, can you read the Bible verse for me? John 10, 28 to 29. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. So this is the biggest promise that Jesus is promising us. He is promising us eternal life after death. So sixth question. The benefit of reading the Bible. Is there any benefit in reading the Bible? Lara, can you read the Bible verse for me? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For we also have had the good news proclaimed to us, just as they did. But the message they heard was of no value to them because they did not share the faith of those who obeyed. So, do, do we question ourselves? by asking what is the benefit in reading the Bible? Do we go through the scripture word by word? Do we question the scripture? So this verse says, Hebrews chapter four, verse two, for we also have the good news proclaimed to us, the good news of the salvation of Jesus Christ. But the message they heard was no value to them. We, we should not be like people, those who, have, those who take uh, uh, the Bible for granted. So having faith, we should read the Bible and put the Bible into practice in our daily lives. So 
To receive the benefits from reading the Bible, it must be personally applied by faith. Try to place yourself in every story of the Bible. Faith grows as we experience it. Question number seven. So this is a example of healing. I'm not a question, sorry. Uh, Adventa, can you read the Bible verse for me? John 5, 8 and 9. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked, he picked up his mat and walked. So what is this example of healing that I'm talking about? In this, example of, uh, in this example, Jesus is healing a paralytic of for 30 years, 38 years, sorry. He's healing a paralytic man who was paralytic for 38 years. How quickly did he act on his belief after hearing Jesus's words? The poor paralytic sufferers, sufferer was helpless. He had not used his limbs for 38 years, yet Jesus asked him to rise, take up his bed and walk. He acted on Jesus' words and God gave him the power. He was made whole in the same way we cannot change our hearts, but God promises to do this for you through Jesus. We need to believe that the promise of God. So, now we talked about the benefits and the promises of the Bible. Uh, so if we study the Bible more, do we grow? Lara, can you read the Bible verse for me? Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. Through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. So yes, if we study the Bible, we will grow, and this is why. God has given us exceedingly great and precious promises, his word, the Bible, that we, through these words, can be changed. Question number nine, who should be our prime example to increase our faith? Adventa, can you read the Bible verse for me? Hebrews 12, 2. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, that for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, who is our prime example to increase our faith? It is Jesus Christ. The way he lived and the way he communed with God is the faith that we should follow. In this world, many are searching for inner peace, happiness, joy, and hope. By having faith, we have inner peace, happiness, and hope because it is based on a relationship with God. So in conclusion, if you give your heart to develop your faith in Jesus, he will give you peace. Question number 10, development, confidence, and benefits. Lara, can you please read the three verses on the screen for me? Okay, the first verse, Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, and if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 to 2. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into his grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Thank you, Laura. And these, uh, these are the Bible texts that I've taken from the Bible itself. And this is from New International Version. Development, confidence, and benefits. So do we develop? Do we have confidence and uh, benefits? So let's see. This, there is a condition 
to the promise that we pray according to God's will. It is God's will to cleanse us from sin, to give new life and to empower us to live an abundant life. Faith is not believing God will do whatever we want, like Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. We ought to pray and seek God, seek what God wants for us. So we should seek what God wants for us and not be stubborn in our own ways. He has set the best plan for us. We can have constant faith or trust in a loving God who knows the best and will always treat us in ways that are for our ultimate good. So yeah, my presentation is over. And thank you all for attending today and uh, have a blessed week ahead. Um,